AX square plus BX plus C equals to 0. This one general quadratic equation. In this equation, number of variables 1. Number of variables 1. Number of variables 1. Maximum power of variable. Maximum power of variables is 2. <coughs> therefore, therefore, after solution, therefore, after solution, We get two, two values of two or two values of the variable, two values of the variable. Now difference between quadratic equation and linear equation is in <coughs> both the equations number of variable 1 but in case of quadratic equation maximum power is 2 and in case of linear equation maximum power is 1 that is the difference in both the cases number of variables same that is one one variable but power of quadratic equation is 2 maximum power and maximum power of linear equation is 1. So, if you solve I mean linear equation, you will get one value of, of the variable. But if you solve quadratic equation, you will get two different values of the variable. Now, example. Uh, before that, uh, so, uh, solving methods. Solving methods. Solving methods of quadratic equation first factorization method factorization method second by completing the square method and third is by Siddhar Achiria method. Now today I will discuss about this one, first method, factorization method. Now <coughs> example number one. Hmm. 
3 root 5 x squared plus 25 x minus 10 root 5 equals to 0. Now question is how you solve it. Now you see product of these two actually <coughs> 3 root 5 into minus 10 root 5. If you multiply you will get minus 150. So 3 root 5 x square now, so how you break it? This this one uh, here plus thirty x minus five x minus ten root five equals to zero. So break this way. Thirty into five, thirty into minus five actually minus one fifty. 3 <coughs> root 5 into minus 10 root 5 if you multiply that is also minus 150 now next is now <coughs> take adding common 3 root 5 actually common 3 root 5 x common so here we get x plus <coughs> if you take adding common then you will get 2 root 5 and if you take 5 common then you will get x plus 2 root 5 now on further simplification you will get x plus 2 root 5 into 3 root 5 x minus 5 equals to 0 when um, when x plus 2 root 5 equals to 0 then x will be minus 2 root 5 when 3 root 5 x minus 5 equals to 0 then x will be 5 by 3 root 5 on further simplification this will be root 5 by 3 so <coughs> you will get two different values of this now see the second example see the second example Two, example 2 10x minus 16 16x minus 10 by x equals to 25 now after simplification this will be here it will be x here 16 x square minus 10 equals to 27 on further simplification it will be x square minus 27 x minus 10 equals to 0 now you have to break this from this middle term in such a way so that product of these two if you after breaking say 16x square here I have this one right 32x plus 5x minus 10 equals to 0 now you see minus 32 into 5 will be product of these two will be minus 160 and 60 into minus 10 product will be minus 160 so this breaking is correct now take out having common thing common thing is 16x so here you will get x minus 2 and here 5 common so x minus 2 now next is what x minus take out x minus 2 that is common thing and here 16x plus 5 equals to 0 now when when x minus 2 is 0 then 
x will be 2 when 16x plus 5 equals to 0 then x will be minus 5 by 16 this one example number 2 you see next example Example number three. Root three x square minus two root two x minus 2 root 3 equals to 0. Now, um, so, break the middle term. Here, write uh, root 3 x square. This one, <coughs> 3 root 2 x minus uh, root 2 x. Then, minus 2 root 3 equals to 0. Now you see product of these two. This one minus 3 root 2 into minus root 2 will be plus 6 and root 3 into 2 root 3. Product of these two uh, will be actually product of these two will be 6 minus 6 and product of this one also minus 6. Now common. Common is what? Actually root 3 x common so x minus root 3 into root 2 x and here take out to root 2 common so x minus root 3 into root 2 now this is the common thing so x minus root 6 x minus root 6 this is what the common factor and here root 3x plus root 2 equals to 0 now when x minus root 6 equals to 0 then x will be root 6 when uh, root 3x plus uh, root 2 equals to 0 then x will be minus root 2 by root 3 this will be minus this so this one example number now I am giving one more example then you will understand uh, example number 4 3 x square plus 5x minus 2 root 3 equals to 0. Now you see product of this and this one 4 to the 8, 8 into 3 and that means 24. Actually, if you uh, multiply these two, then you will get minus 24. So, you have to break this middle term. 4 root 3 x square. Now, this one 8x minus 3x minus 2 root 3 equals to 0. Now, what is common from these two actually? 4 x common. So take out that, so you will get root 3x and from here 2, same thing here root 3 common, so root 3x plus 2, 
on further simplification this will be root 3x plus 2 into this one 4x minus root 3 equals to 0 when root 3x plus 2 equals to 0 then x will be minus 2 by root 3 when 4x minus root 3 equals to 0 then x will be root 3 by 4 that's all